is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Let's take a look at the top stocks, ETFs, and crypto to watch this week. First up is GameStop, which uh, exploded back at the start of the year, all the way up to about the 500 level, it's settled into this really dead pattern, crisscrossing uh, the 50-day uh, moving average over and over again since, uh, oh, all the way back here in February. Well, the stock is uh, fairly quiet right up here in the 180s, but on Friday after the close, uh, the company announced the departure of their chief operating officer after just eight months. Now, this executive was picked up by uh, from, Am uh, from formerly an Amazon and uh, Google uh, executive, and uh, her departure may be viewed as a failure of their initiative and transformation to the digital era. So we have to watch for selling pressure. Uh, even so, it's uh, not really going to mean that much until we go through about the 165 level, and then we could possibly sort of break lows break this low and this low and start to come back to earth with this uh, bubble, which uh, still appears to be broken. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at Uber. Uber reports earnings on Thursday, and Uber's had a pretty bad year. Now, if you take a look at um, tw the 2020 return, the 2020 return was very, very nice. It started the year right here around uh, in the 30s and finished the year in the 50s, so that was good. Now, it came back up and peaked in February, and it's been all downhill since that time. The stock is down about 14% year to date, and it's struggling to hold the 200 day moving average after breaking it right here in, oh yeah, right here in April. So we see we have this little gap in the stock turning lower below the 50 and 200 day moving averages. Uh, it is oversold, but Uber has a very big um, challenge ahead with uh, rising sh ride share prices, uh, drivers that want to be employees, government uh, looking at that uh, and wanting benefits for employees and people just getting tired of spending money for food delivery because it's gotten so darn expensive. So there's potential here for a sell-off, at least to fill this gap back down to 40. Uh, moving on, let's take a look at uh, Dogecoin. And uh, I'll try that again, Dogecoin, Dogecoin, there we go. Uh, now Dogecoin, Looks like it might be setting up a buying opportunity. Of course, it's under before in the big boys for a very long time, but it did come up to about to 35 cents back in August, pulled back to this developing trend line, uh, about 20 cents, came back up to this prior high, and it's been pulling back, as you can see, for the last three sessions. <coughs> <coughs> now, this is uh, very bullish. We could very easily get a bounce right here, about 25, work our way back up to the prior high. Now, if we do, it's going to complete a cup and handle pattern. And that cup and handle pattern, you take the distance from this point to this point, add it, and we get a rally right above this 50% retracement, uh, right up, oh, or even the 618 retracement, just above the about uh, 50 cent level. Okay, next up we have uh, TAN. Now, TAN is the solar uh, ETF. And if you take a look at uh, the uh, price action since about March 2020, it's been very good. Now, it did break the 200-day moving average back in the second quarter, but then it, it went and based upon it, and it's taken off in the last three or four weeks because of the infrastructure bill in the United States. Well, the uh, Virginia gubernatorial election is on Tuesday, and it's a dead heat right now. And if the Republicans pull out a victory that may be viewed as a mandate that uh, voters do not want big gov government spending, and that could sway a few moderate Democratic votes, including uh, the famous uh, mansion and cinema duo. So it could possibly imperil uh, the solar uh, funds that are going into the initiative, which is includes about a half a trillion dollars uh, for climate change and solar and solar uh, initiatives. Uh, finally, let's take a look at Ford Motor Company. Now, Ford has been on a roll this year. Now, if you look back a very long and sorted history, you have to go all the way back about 2014, the last time it traded up above the 18 level. Very long downtrend ended right here at the end of, uh, at the beginning of 2021. Now, this, uh, the company has finally announced uh, electric vehicle initiatives, uh, bringing it into the 21st century, but way behind Tesla and General Motors and many of the competitors, and that's why it's been such a poor performer. Now, it's finally gathering some steam. As you can see, it broke out above this June high after earnings this past week. However, it is coming back up to these prior highs, and you can see we have this high here in 2013, 2014, we have this high right here in 2010. Now, this is all very uh, heavy resistance levels. So I think we're going to get a reversal here very soon. And that would be a reversal that lasts for a number of months, perhaps bringing the stock all the way down to the lower to mid-teens by uh, early 2022.